Hi, Mart here, and today I'm talking about my painting workflow. Okay, let's start. At first, I put my line art layer to multiply and create another layer under it so I can paint under my line art layer and still see my lines so I know what I'm actually painting. Okay, and after that, I change the I change the background color to something different from the white because with white background I always tend to use two light colors because uh, next to white everything looks really really dark so when I want to do when when I want to add some highlights or lightning I can because I can't go any lighter you know and oh if it makes sense yeah yeah that makes sense so, yeah so after that I have to find some color scheme some colors to work with you know in this stage I usually have some idea about my main color for this one it was like this blue with a little bit of goldish I don't know yeah I had this one in my head oh it looks pretty it doesn't look that bad <laughs> but with colors it's like uh, you have to experiment it's not like they're like it's not about knowing the exact colors you just put some colors see what works if it doesn't try different colors it doesn't matter you know yeah there is some theory behind colors like uh, some about saturation and complementary colors colors and stuff like this but at the end it's just what feels right you know and what looks right okay now when we have the colors it's time for some painting for the most of my painting I'm using probably four of default brushes from Creda. First and second one is bristle wet and bristle texture, which I'm using for pretty much all of the painting. Are uh, there are the color smudge brushes, which means that they like they blend your color with color of the canvas, so it works really similar to traditional painting, like oil painting and stuff. These kind of brushes are really hard to get used to because they're not exactly all the time doing what you want. But if you learn to use them and be a little patient, you can get really awesome results from it. Yeah, these brushes are really, really cool. Okay, next brush I'm using is the ink ball pen. This one I'm using for like highlights and redefine some edges because with the bristle brushes they are not really good for sharp and clean edges you know and also I'm using this one for all of my line or line work so yeah this is one I'm using pretty a lot and the last brush is airbrush with some pressure which I'm using for the adjustment layers like multiply and overlay to correct some colors and add some I don't know shadows and stuff and I don't know, even some effects like glowing effect and the other effects. <laughs> okay, that's all about brushes. And well, I'm not really happy with the result, but it's, it doesn't look that bad. I will probably take some more time to render it and finish the whole. Right now, I don't want to go any deeper in my process because I don't have time to do it right now yeah maybe later on I will make some longer video to go through my process a little bit detailed but right now I don't really have the time so sorry about that so thanks for watching and until next time see you later